How is it going, YouTube? Mark and Sarah. So we will talk about basically what's going on. Um, I haven't had a chance to like make some video content uh, for YouTube. And at the same time, to be honest with you, I didn't necessarily play too much Diablo 4 either lately. I've been playing quite a bit of like World of Warcraft Classic as usual with my guild. Progressing here and there, maybe opening like a new character. I did like some achievements in that game, like the Insane and uh, Winter Saber Tiger, if you are familiar with it. So the, been just like grinding. I had like an accident actually like last week where I... It was actually like so... I don't know, it's kind of sad, but at the same time, it's sad, scary, but at the same time, kind of funny as well. I have a, um, uh, my son is like four years old and I was telling him, going down the stairs, be careful. And then I ended up falling uh, from the stairs myself. So that was, that was really ironic, I, I suppose. It was really bad, I said, I should have paid attention myself. But yeah, I hurt my back that way. And then like, it was pain and suffering for like three days, even to like sit and stand up. Uh, so I didn't necessarily stream that that way either. But I'm glad like this happened while uh, season is not there. And like next week, I'm going to be taking a very short vacation with the family. Uh, gonna go like chill uh, for like three, four days at the summer place. So it's gonna be nice as well. It's crazy hot here. So anyways, this is reading too much. So when it comes to the video content, I think I'm a little bit intimidated. Actually, uh, there's so much Diablo 4 content. And like, I feel like my content that I'm creating... Um, so personally, uh, I'll try to be as, as, as clear as I can. Um, I don't usually end up like putting content on YouTube unless it's a, it's, it's a video that I would watch it myself, if that makes sense to you. So like there are lots of like ideas of mine that are out there and then like I can, I can like start recording something and then I end up not necessarily liking what's it, what comes out on the other end and then I just like don't upload it, you know what I mean? That's also why there's quite a bit of like emptiness i don't necessarily think that like this is good for like my financial side or like uh, it's not really good for my channel's future either because most of the time any content is unfortunately better than no content um that's 100 percent the case for youtube it needs to be consistent very consistent and i cannot maintain that with this um perspective let's say or or approach but uh yeah i i, I try to you know not upload things that are um you know i i end up saying like okay somebody else did this better or like maybe i could have done it better i don't necessarily maybe it's a little bit harsh on myself whatever but um yeah i felt like the the content that i'm making is like being buried under like so much other content on the youtube and it's not being promoted or maybe like the um you know youtube algorithm or whatever is not necessarily able to like pick up and like show my content at all to like new newer stuff so it's very very intimidating when it comes to like making new stuff i'm not really sure like how to approach this but what i want to do when it comes to like content about diablo 4 in the upcoming days is um i'm actually working on or like kind of not working on but like um exercising or practicing on like leveling a little bit the earlier section just like in the uh, i did in grim dawn in fact um so i'll be i'll try to make like if not this season i'll try to make it worst case after the season launch i'll try to make it again uh but right now i'm working on it perhaps like a class or two i'll like put on youtube as well like you can see it on my twitch i'll be uh i'll be practicing on twitch every now and then twitch.tv slash mulligans and um yeah, so what I do is like basically I create a class uh, from level one, right? And then uh, skip the campaign and then I try to like, get to level 25, 30. I'll try to like keep the video, so keep the run under two hours without cutting editing at all. So like you will be able to see the entire run. And 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 so I want to like bring back the videos of like in Krumdown, it was like one to 15, two hours or something like that. You know what I mean? Those videos were like doing really good for my uh, channel. And I was really enjoying like leveling and I'm sure I'm going to be doing the same in this one as well. So I'll try to, I don't necessarily know what the level is going to be. I think I can take it up to like 25, maybe 30, which is not necessarily too bad under two hours, getting up to like 26, 25, I should be able to with any class. The interesting part is going to be in Dream Dawn, right? No matter what you pick, the routing is was going to be the same. In this one, actually, there's going to be like a class quest. And the class quest locations are like different. For the most part, it's going to be the same, but like the class that you're playing is going to need to drastically, like I'm going to need to figure out which spell to use with that class. And at the same time, you know, 
when do I need to do the quest or like where do I need to do it, etc. Because like I'm not really familiar with uh, the rogue, the necromancer. So I have played the druid, I have played the two that you're seeing on your screen right now. And yeah, that's it. So um, that's what's going to be coming. Let's talk about the season time a little bit because I didn't make any content about like the season information after, after um, you know, watching the developer stream. Um, I actually find it a little bit underwhelming to be honest with you when it comes to like end game content um the people that are like playing in like the major audience that is like you know loud um the player base that is like loud and like saying stuff like you know the end game needs a little bit like more content more variety maybe like the nightmare dungeons is not enough alone i think this season is not necessarily going to be bringing something that's going to cater towards those people. Unfortunately, this is including myself. So the end game might actually be a little bit more underwhelming. But I think the journey is going to be very, very improved. So what I mean by that is like not only every single player is going to be getting a new campaign, which is pretty interesting, actually, you know, like that's that's very, very interesting. There's going to be like a main storyline that we will need to go through. I don't necessarily know if anybody is looking forward to this, right? That's another point too. But there will be something like that because before you finish this new campaign, you won't be able to, um, you know, start getting malignant hearts and stuff, if I'm not mistaken. That's very interesting. Maybe we're going to enjoy the new story and there'll be maybe like cutscenes, new voice acting, obviously. We'll see. Like, I'm, I'm not necessarily sure what to expect in there, honestly. Um, so, for instance, there's quite a bit that they are delaying when it comes to like quality of life. On one hand, like, I'm very surprised because they're acting as if, like, this is something that they're hearing for the first time from the community in the developer's stream, especially. And I I, I kind of feel like they're 100% genuine, by the way. Don't get me wrong. And I feel like they're incredibly passionate. I haven't seen, like, Blizzard devs being this passionate about their games for a very long time, in fact. But at the same time, I'm a little bit surprised that they are, they are showing this as if, like, you know, this is something new from uh, their player base. So, for instance, I can give an example of, like, you know, Diablo 3, they have a lot of, like, experience over this time. They're, like, 28 seasons or something, right, guys? And um, they're, like, surprised that this stash space is not necessarily enough for the community. And, and they hear you, you know. They will try their best to, like, increase the stash space. Or, like, maybe... You get what I'm saying. There are lots of quality of life stuff like this. Let's not talk about it too much. But they are saying, like, due time, we will implement it. It's a little bit surprising to me, like, this is unexpected or like you know what i mean maybe this was some sort of like a uh tactical approach from blizzard because not only it's going to be some sort of like a you know quality of life is coming you see we are listening to you but at the same time it's more of like a, you know let's not fix literally everything uh and and go for a launch and then this is like an online game you know what i mean online service so we're going to be fixing everything um along the way anyways let's just make sure that like we have a smooth game and then we add on top of it all the time and the community is surely is going to be appreciating that also which i would 100 percent. there's lots of quality of life and adjustments that can be done but there are like some other annoyances that i'm having as well at the same time so for instance like like gems are going to be kind of becoming um i think they're going to become like into into the materials right there's resources tab at some point so that's going to be very good because there's quite a bit of ground cluster that's going on there is a lot of ground cluster from like these leather pieces and stuff like that if you played the game a lot like you're you're stacking up and then you're you're maxing out on on the uh, stacks of like leather rawhide or whatever it's called lots of stuff so they start like dropping on the floor and your character as you walk over them it doesn't even pick it up so it's just so much shit on the ground you know what i mean you don't want to see this so now they're battling it by increasing the cap so you either make the cap infinite, which is probably not so possible. You could make it so that like it automatically deletes afterwards, I suppose. Like I said, there are obviously number caps in uh, development, but um, value caps, I should say, right? Like numeric values, say they cap at some point at the development. But um, right now, what they did is like a band aid. You know what I mean? So if you're capable of like capping, let's say, row hide in ten hours of gameplay, now you're gonna need like. 30 hours of gameplay or maybe 35 it's gonna cap out again and i will easily be putting that 35 hours so the ground clutter will come again and then it will be even more annoying uh by that point so the fact that is the the fact is um you don't necessarily need this much row hide nobody does 
but the annoyance is you're seeing this thing on the floor and you you kind of think to yourself like you're, you're kind of wasting something you're leaving something behind and at the same time it's just not looking good on the floor you know what i mean this is something that you should be at least able to hide when you reach a certain number etc so it's like a band-aid kind of fix I, I talked about this quite a bit right now. This is not necessarily something that's like annoying me too much or anything. Don't get me wrong. But the way that they're like impl impl implementing things is a little bit questionable to me. Um, the same thing can be said for like the way that they, they made the Nightmare Dungeons. Um, the teleport fix to the Nightmare Dungeons, I should rephrase. Um, so now we, we are teleporting. We are capable of teleporting to the Nightmare Dungeons. But we are going through two loading screens right this is very weird to me i think it, it's probably some sort of like a technical difficulty that they had and they wanted to like rush the um developments of that and then maybe later on they're going to be fixing it along the way but these type of things are like really awkward um you should be able to just you know we, we're still going through two loading screens so like my character is loading first the outside section of the nightmare dungeon and then we need to go through and then goes into the nightmare dungeon and yeah you wait for one more loading screen there too it's really really awkward so these type of things are like a little bit alienated, alienated thoughts of mine basically when it comes to like the development process and how their approach is going but apart from that, the season, the season looks when it comes to the journey, I think that for the journey itself is going to be promising quite a bit. So like when you are at a level 100 pushing like, you know, tier 90s or something like that, maybe the game is going to be pretty boring at that point again, or maybe too grindy, you know, the chase items are going to be that hard uh, once again. Like I was wrong in my other video on this, like they introduce, a, you know, on the in the big patch that's going to be coming at like 18th, maybe they're going to say something like... Um, you know, we didn't necessarily talk about everything that's coming in our patch, in our season. Here you go, you have a World Tier 5. I was 100% expecting a World Tier 5 from Blizzard. But now it seems like they're not necessarily doing it. From At least they didn't even, you know, uh, get a question that way. Or they didn't say they're doing something like that. So, like, if World Tier 4 is the maximum, and then, you know, Item Power 820 is going to be maximum once again, that also means that, like, what I said in my video when it comes to, you know, finding these chase items... Um, it is, it is not going to be true. It's going to be as difficult to find these chase items, such as like, you know, the Shaco and whatnot, the Grandfather Sword. Um, it's going to be as difficult uh, to find them, even though there's going to be a little bit more content. You know what I mean? Like the, the, the more monsters on your screen or the more harder content it is, the more valuable loot you're going to get, obviously it will be a little bit easier for you to like find these chase items but it doesn't necessarily like change it so drastically right i really really like what they did with the health eye chests because i think when when you're going to go into a health eye like i i will be making a health eye guide myself as well but i i think there are a lot of health eye guide videos right now and every single one of them is seeing the same thing within the five minutes or 25 minutes the content is always the same i don't want to mimic that um I wanted to wait a little bit when it comes to like, you know, updating these chests because I'm, I was 100% sure it was not going to be staying that way. And they're not. Obviously, they're playing on them a little bit. They're trying to make the normal chests, not the mystic ones, but the regular chests that you can see from your map in the Helltide. They're trying to make them more valuable. And now what they did is that like unique items were not able to drop from those and now you can find them. So I have a question about this though. Recently, they changed something. They made it so that I think any unique can drop from any chest type of thing. So I'll need to look into that. So don't take this like as like a guide or anything. I'm just like thinking through, thinking out loud there perhaps. But I, I do like their approach when it comes to like, you know, you, you can at the very least like target some certain, for instance, armor unique from a Haltide chest now. So it gives you a little bit more reason to, after opening all the mystic chests within the Haltide, um, it gives you more reason to like spend more time uh, inside Haltide event for sure by the way i'm a massive fan of Helltide, 100 like when i when i was learning it the first time i didn't necessarily like it so much because i thought it was just going to be another transitioning event like tree of whispers that is what i call tree of whispers because in um you know when you finish the campaign you start getting the tree of whispers events and this is only going to be relevant until like you start world tier 3 where like you can do the hell tide as well and like other harder stuff and some nightmare dungeons then the tree of whispers doesn't really like give you any rewards whatsoever it's very underwhelming right so that said um 
the hell tide i i'm a massive fan because like i i thought it was going to be the first time i saw it i thought it was just going to be another trio of whispers but it's not it's very relevant in the late game as well you can get insane amounts of legendaries i'm talking about the amounts not necessarily the quality like you can you can just find so many legendaries in so little time and it's very um hard to put it it's very like um active gameplay you don't necessarily take like so many breaks you just keep on going for like an entire hour almost and this type of like approach when it comes to the development of like making other chests valuable as well will give you like an idea of you know okay wh wh whatever uh the cinder i think is called right the currency that we collect inside the hell tide whatever cinder that i get is going to be a plus because so i need to be rushing even more and i need to be like optimizing my routes and collecting more and you get the idea i, I really really like what they're doing with the hell tide and i think it's a perfect open world event uh and i really really like how um frequent it is also really like i think hell tide is 100 a better um content in the game than than a nightmare dungeon so far right now nightmare i you know i i'm not necessarily sure if i think like if i if i would like just a rift like a normal rift i'm not talking about like a greater rift from diablo 3 but i'm talking like a normal rift point of view i maybe i might just prefer a normal rift over nightmare dungeon system right now uh but i i wouldn't say like you know scrap the entire nightmare dungeon and I'm also saying maybe, like, I'm not sure. I would need to play this, as I said. But if there was rifts in the game as well, on top of, like, everything that we have, I might actually, like, prefer to just rift. That's what I mean. You know what I mean? I, I'm not really enjoying, like, all this. I think go, go, go maybe is a little bit, like, <laughs> easier for you to do instead of, like, trying to figure out, like, the mods of the Nightmare Dungeon and then, like, go there and then, like, you need to kill every single thing on the first part. Do you know those, like goals that you have inside like nightmare dungeons maybe so it's a bit like a turn off and it's not something that i like appreciate every time perhaps maybe i don't know as, as i'm as i said like i'm not really sure but i think i wasn't necessarily too against 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 riffs uh, either i feel like so that's okay like the the concept and the idea of nightmare dungeon i really dig um definitely but as as a solo uh you know end game content just like standalone and end game content i think it, it has like a limit i'm, I'm kind of searching for like a little bit more for sure so it's many others i'm 100 percent sure i didn't necessarily do lilith yet the uber lilith but i, I i'm kind of looking forward to that but my characters i'm definitely not strong for it uh you know i i could just like respect my uh sorcerer into 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 a version that is you know capable of killing lilith by just following a guide or whatever but that's that's not going to be um you know there's no rush for me in that case that's not going to be something that i would enjoy doing i think like what is the reasoning of that uh yeah i, th I think it actually gives a mount or something maybe that would be cool anyways thank you so much for watching youtube hope you enjoyed the video so i'm gonna go ahead and like stream on twitch a little bit maybe do some like leveling practice on a druid perhaps today feel free to come by um and in the upcoming days there might be like not so much youtube content because of like the vacation that's coming up that i said earlier on but apart from that uh, i'll be seeing you with some like leveling videos perhaps like some some more guides coming in the in 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 season one uh, after playing the season for quite some time for sure uh peace out guys take care